Hi, it's Steve. Today we'd like to show you how to change the suspension on your top load washer. It's a really easy repair. Let me show you how we do it. Now to do this repair, we will need to pull the washer out far enough that we can lay it on its back. So to do so, we'll first of all, need to disconnect the inlet fill hoses, disconnect the drain, and perhaps drain as much water out of that hose as possible. We'll also need to disconnect the power. Now before we lay the washer on its back, this style of washer has a fairly heavy lid on it, so we're going to take that lid to the main top. Just take some duct tape and tape it across each side, make sure it's nice and secure. Then we'll go ahead and disconnect our hoses and get the washer ready to do the repair. Now, if the washer pulled out, we have access to the back. Before we can change the suspension on this, we do need to raise the whole main top. And to do so, we first of all need to take out these two screws at the top of the hinges, one on either side. And then we'll go around to the front of the washer where we can lift up that main top. Now, with the retaining screws removed from the hinge, we next need to pull that whole top forward so that we can unlatch it from two spring clips that sit on top of that front panel. So just grasp the back corner, pull it towards you, lift up slightly until it clears that clip. Do the same on the opposite side. And just push it back against the hinge, tilt it up, and make sure that the hinges are still pulled up through the slots on the back of that main top. Now you'll either need to have somebody support that top or attach some type of a lanyard from the main top down to the cabinet to hold it from tilting back. Now regardless of whatever type of restraint you're using, make sure that that main top tilts back just slightly past 90 degrees and verify that it is secure on both ends. Now once we've done that, we can then go about detaching the top of the suspension from the frame of the washer. Now the next step in this procedure is to disconnect those suspension rods from the bearing cups at the top. Now depending on the model, you typically will have a channel across the back that you can actually hook that suspension rod onto. On the front, depending on the model, you may or may not have that option. So before we remove any of those, just inspect each of those suspension rods. Occasionally we'll find that there is a retainer spring that runs between the suspension rod and the tub cover, and you'll want to disconnect that from the suspension rod. Once that is all clear, to disconnect those, just push the tub away from you, reach down, grab that suspension rod, lift up on it, remove the bearing, drop the suspension rod down through that opening, And if you have a spot that you can hang that rod on, just hook it over the top frame. We'll then remove the bearing cup. It's just a little plastic squeeze tab on the sides of those. Just to press those and push them up through the opening. And we can discard those components. So we'll continue to do that with all four suspension rods. Again, if your model does not have the option of hanging the front rods, on the cabinet, we suggest that you take the back ones off first, hang those on, and then just release the front ones and let them drop down inside the cabinet. At that point, the tub and motor assembly will sit on the floor, but will be suspended by the rear suspension rods. Now as well, in some models you may find that the air dome tube is attached to a suspension rod, and you'll want to make sure that you clear that as well. As we mentioned with some models, you may find that there is a clip attached to that suspension rod that holds the air dome tube and it's also attached to the drain hose. So we need to make sure that we unclip that from the suspension rod and it just pops off of there. And then we can go ahead and remove that suspension rod and then hang it on the back of the cabinet. And again, we'll just release those tabs and pop out that bearing cup 
and discard both of those pieces. Now with the suspension rods located at the back of the washer, a little more difficult to see what's going on there, but again, we'll use the same procedure. We're simply going to push up on that rod, release it from the frame at the back, and then pull it away. Remember to disconnect that cup on the outside of the tub. Simply depress those little tabs. Now when installing that rod that goes up beside the air dome tube, we want to make sure that we don't get tangled up in that. Again, make sure that we press that cup into the receptor on the side of the tub. And then hook the spring over the frame. the other. Now that we've got the washer back up on its feet, we've raised the main top again and secured that. So before we put the bearing cups in, we're just going to clean out that area or the socket on the top of that frame. And we can snap those in place. Now next, We'll take one of the new bearings. You'll note there's a little notch on the bottom of those. We need to line that up with our suspension rod. So if they've all stayed hooked to the frame, basically just need to lift those off. If one of them has dropped down through, just push the tub aside, reach down and grab it. Again, make sure that the socket on the side of the tub is engaged. So next we need to push that rod up through that cup. We'll take the bearing. Line up that tab on the bottom, snap it into place, and rotate it so that the hook goes 90 degrees from that slot. And then just drop it down into the socket. Do the same on all four corners. Again, remembering on the one where the air dome tube is, make sure that we have that on the proper side of that clip. And if you find that your lanyard is in the way of putting that one in, do the other side first and then we'll switch that lanyard over to that side so we have easy access to the rear of the tub. Always be sure that we turn that hook 90 degrees from the slotted opening. Now, if you find the method that we've just explained to you of laying the washer down on its back to replace this component a little bit too difficult or inconvenient for you, you can also do this repair by simply raising the main top make sure it's support properly, and then you can change out those suspension rods from the top. The only other item that you may need is something to knock those cups off on the bottom of the outer tub. So a broom handle or a stick, approximately a couple of feet in length, will do that for you. So we'll use the same basic method. We'll lift the rod up out of the opening, remove the bearing at the top, lower the rod down through, take the cup out, and then we'll take that whole rod assembly off of the outer top. So again, just reach in, lift up the old suspension rod, pop off the bearing, drop the rod down through that hole. And you can just hang it on the frame. Remove the old bearing cup, snap in the new one, and now we'll remove that rod from the side of the tub. Knock out the old cup.
and then just slide it over to that slot. And once we've released that from the side of the tub, we can remove the old one, discard it. Make sure you slide that little rubber sleeve part way up onto that shaft. We're going to lower it back in. Pull up sharply on it to engage that cup. Then we'll lift it up through that bearing socket. We'll reconnect that new bearing, turn it so it fits in 90 degrees from the slot. And just make sure that all four of those bearing cups on the outside of the tub are snapped into place. And now we can lower down the main top. We can then remove our lanyard. Now with that removed, again, we'll lower that top down, making sure that we line up those two slots in the top with the hooks on the side of the cabinet, and be sure to engage those tabs in the front. So pull it far enough forward. You may need to pull from the back. Make sure it's sitting down flush. Push it back, lock it in place and then we'll secure it with the two screws through the hinge. We're now ready to push the washer back into place, reconnect our fill hoses and our drain hose, reconnect the power, and your repair is complete.